The event, organized by Interfaith Dialogue Center, Princeton University, and two other groups, began with Rabbi Justice Baird pointing out that 9-11 affected people from many nationalities and faiths. This event reminded me that we are really deeply interconnected, okay? Not, people from 90 different countries died on September 11th, okay? 90 different countries, just in, in those towers and in the Pentagon and these places on these planes. Th this is a very interconnected place, and, and, and that means that we've got to acknowledge that kind of interdependence that we're dealing with. Filmmaker Valerie Kaur said that 9-11 changed life for Sikh Americans like herself forever. Kaur said because of their appearance, Sikh Americans were put on the defensive and were unable to grieve in the aftermath of the tragedy like other Americans. When this attack happened, it, I, I felt as all Americans felt, um, a deep assault and a deep violation, a confusion and a shock. Um, just seconds later, the image of Osama bin Laden was flashed on the television set, a man with a beard and turban. And it dawned on me that this, this picture of America's new enemy looked like my family, looked like my brothers, looked like my uncles, looked like my grandfather. And in that instant, my family, my community were marked as automatically suspect, uh, perpetually foreign, and potentially terrorist. Imam Sohaib Sultan said after 9-11, the Muslim community was forced to open up and launch a public relations campaign in the U.S. Um, and one of the things that we learned very quickly was that we could no longer um, ever choose to be a closed community. We had to be an open community. We had to open up our doors. We could not allow the narrative in the media. We could not allow uh, the so-called experts that came up on the television screens to define who we were. Um, but rather, uh, we had to be out there defining for people who we are. And so um, we opened up the doors of our mosques. We started speaking at libraries, churches, synagogues. Sultan said 10 years later, more than 50 percent of Americans still have a negative view of Islam. The consensus at the event was that religious leaders and communities have to play a bigger role in creating a multi-faith conversation, especially due to the mistrust generated post 9-11. Participants said they were heartened to see the efforts being made towards that goal. With all the different religious leaders, leadership, that they are coming together and they are looking that they are part of the solution to the uh, difficulties. Well, I think I learned a lot about um, some commonalities of experiences that I had with other religious traditions that I didn't think I had. I was very deeply impressed by the speakers because they spoke not only from their heart, but they shared ideas that um, opened ideas for me, opened windows.